Hi everyone, this is Mr. Zoller and today I'm going to be presenting you a screencast on European exploration and settlement. So in today's video I'll be talking about the Spanish, the French, and the Dutch and how they began to explore North America. And I'll be talking about the English and their settlements in America in a future video. So starting with the Spanish, the Spanish are going to be the first recorded European nation to discover North America. And so Christopher Columbus is going to be responsible for that. So he was originally sailing for the Indies, heading toward India, and he ends up landing in a place called Taino, uh, which was a peaceful fishing community. And so Columbus claimed the island for Spain, and he named it San Salvador, and he convinced he was close to China. And so he returned to Spain for more ships and men. And so he came back uh, three more times to the Caribbean Sea, to the Caribbean area, and he found more islands, and he found South America. And he still believed it to be Asia, though later explorers thought otherwise. So he thought he had found a shortcut to Asia. And the reason why this is so important in heading um, to find a quicker route is because of trade. And so when Spain discovers this land, uh, they're going to have an urge to find gold. They're going to have an urge to spread um, the message about God to the natives that are there and also to bring glory to their nation, to their country. And so Spain is going to start an empire here in the Americas. And so we're going to have something that's known as the Columbian Exchange, named after Columbus. So it's a transfer of people, plants, animals, and disease across the Atlantic Ocean. And so there are going to be new crops that are going to be brought to Europe from America, which will help people's diet and also vice versa, uh, things coming from Europe to America. And we're going to end up having 90% of all the Native Americans in North and South America are going to be wiped out uh, through disease. So feel free to pause and take a look at some of the items coming to or leaving from America and Europe. Uh, also, we're going to have slavery beginning to come to the Americas with the discovery. So we're going to have, since so many Native Americans are dying from disease and the Spanish and others wanted to use the natives to work on land and mines uh, for them, they needed to find other workers. And so we're going to end up having, beginning the 1500s, slave traders begin shipping slaves to the Caribbean in disease-infested ships, and these are going to be Africans taken in West Africa and brought over into North and South America. And of course that slave trade is going to continue uh, for a long time. Uh, there are going to be some notable areas that are going to be conquered by the Spanish. So in what we consider Mexico today, which was the Aztec Empire in the past, uh, we're going to have the Mexican or the Aztecs are conquered by Cortes. So in 1519, uh, Cortes landed in Mexico with horses and about 500 men. And with the help of those who hated the Aztecs or other peoples, smallpox especially, a disease, uh, Cortes conquered Aztec, the capital of Tenochtitlan. And he used the, the stones of the city to build today uh, New Spain or the largest city in the world today, Mexico City. Uh, further in South America, uh, we're going to have uh, Pizarro conquers Peru and conquers the Incas. And so in 1532, he's going to lead an attack on the Inca Empire. By the time he arrived there, though, smallpox had already spread uh, throughout a lot of the Inca people and so many of them had died or were really sick and so they were unable to fight against Pizarro and his men. And so eventually he was able to take over the empire and he conquered most of South America. So the Spanish are going to be the first to begin uh, colonizing here in America and you can see here on this map all the orange area, at least in North America, uh, has been taken by them and most of South America except for uh, Brazil which we'll find out was taken by Portugal. So looking at the lands here in North America, the first is going to be Florida. So Juan Ponce de Leon had sailed with Columbus and discovered gold in Puerto Rico. And so he was looking for the fabled fountain of youth, which if you drank from it, it would give you uh, eternal life and make you always young. And so in 1513, he landed in North America and eight years later established a colony with 200 men. And this would be in Florida. So Indians with poison arrows later shot Ponce de Leon and uh, he did do well after that. Uh, we also have the seven cities of Cibola. So as I remember saying that gold is one of the reasons the Spanish were exploring and settling here in the Americas. And so this was an old European tale of cities decorated with gold and jewels. They heard Indians tell similar tales, thought cities to be in North America. And so the Spanish searched through Florida and Texas and Marcos Daniza, a priest, claimed that he had actually seen it in New Mexico. And so as a result of that, we're gonna have the Coronado expedition so in 1540, we're going to have Francisco Vasquez de Coronado set out with Niza, that priest, as his guide to find those golden cities. 
And so 7,000 miles later, they found just Native American pueblos, just little towns. Uh, so he sent, sent the priests home, and seven cities were the seven Indian villages. And this continued north to Great Plains before giving it up. So heading it up kind of in the middle uh, area, right over here is where they were searching for. So as a result of that, at, by 1600, the borderlands extended from Florida to Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and Cal California. There was very little settlement until other European countries began to colonize in the Americas. So the Spanish were here first. They thought they had time to get people over. And so in 1565, the Spanish built St. Augustine to defend Florida from the French. And so we're going to have missionaries accompanying soldiers, establishing missions. And of course, that's a big part of our history here in California. And we're also going to have settlers beginning uh, to move more north from Mexico. So the Spanish are going to be the first ones to begin colonizing and settling here in the Americas. So what is the impact on Native Americans with the Spanish? Well, for the Pueblo people in the Southwest, they learned how to use new tools. They grew new foods. They raised sheep for wool. And they taught the Spanish how to farm and how to survive in this climate, in this environment, in the desert. Uh, we're also going to have the conversion to Catholicism, the Catholic faith. Uh, so we're going to have uh, a lot of the tribes living and working around these missions. And then we're also going to have the spread of disease. Smallpox, measles, uh, influenza, or the flu wiped out entire villages. So before Coronado's expedition into the southwest, there were around 100 pueblos in New Mexico, and by 1700, there will only be 18 left.